Hello YouTubers. I was talking to a good friend on Skype last night and we were talking about traditional archery and I told him I had this series of books and I wanted to show it to him. He wanted to see it. So I thought I'd get up here and talk to you about it a little bit. Glenn St. Charles put out this series of books called Legends of the Longbow. Uh, they're all signed and numbered. I think mine's series number 998 or something like that out of 1250. First ones I'll show you back here. I got one through five. Ye Sylvan Archer. That was a magazine that came out uh, in the, I believe it was in the 20s and ended in the 1943. He had the complete collection of the magazines and put them in this book, these books. So each one of these books, I don't remember exactly what years they are, but they have every bit of the magazine in them, including the ads in the back and the ads on all the pages. They're pretty cool to look at and read. Then we've got Hunting the Hard Way and Wild Adventure. Those were both uh, written by Howard Hill. And we've got The Archer's Craft, Sagittarius, American Archery, Book of the Longbow, Study of Bows and Arrows, The Gray Goose Wing, Fred Bear's Field Notes, A Bibliography of Archery, the Adventurous Bowman, and I these were I read so long ago I don't remember who wrote all of them. Uh, the Witchery of Archery. Uh, now this in here's got two books in it: the Turkish Turkish Archery and Modern Methods in Archery. Uh, I can't read that one. Complete Book of the Bow and Arrow. And then we come out here to Target Archery and Archery by Elmer. Those were wrote by the same guy. Archery, uh, Toxophilus, and Archery Theory and Practice. That's two books. Hunting with the Bow and Arrow. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was... Uh, written by Saxon Pope. Archery, the technical side. Ishii and Two Worlds, that was the Indian that came out of the woods in uh, California that helped Saxon Pope and Young. can't remember the, his first name. Uh, learn more about archery and the Book of Archery. I have, I've read just about all of them. There's a few of them I haven't read. Uh, there's one in here that was written in like the 1500s. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. But it was full of these and thous and that kind of stuff and it was just too hard to read for me. But uh, that's uh, one of my prized collections in books. Let me put the rest of my archery books up there, and uh, we'll talk about them. Okay, I've got the three of the volume one, two, and three of traditional Bowers Bible. I see they've got a volume four out now. And traditional archery, the aggressive approach, the bowyer's craft, and bows and arrows of Native Americans. This is Ishi. That's another book on the Indian. Instinctive shooting, a couple different ones on by Fred Asbell, Archer's Digest. I've had that book since shoot the, the late seventies. Making bows and arrows, the Archer's Bible by Fred Bear, Fred Bear's World of Archery. This is a little book on the test results of broadheads 
they came out with that uh, two blade broadhead for dish, traditional archery is the best and then I've got a couple books on flint napping I've got a video I think that goes with this one but when I go in get into something I go whole hog I've got I know there's one book missing I think I loaned it to someone and never got it back so I've quit loaning books I've got I know two books missing one from this and one from another set of books I've got let's take a look at my videos I've got okay I've got uh, two videos on uh, flint napping billets to bows that's made by Glenn St. Charles the guy that put out all those books uh, that's a book or a video on Fred Bear's trip to Africa that's a real good book or video on archery instinctive shooting another video on uh, he she then I've got uh, Fred Asbell's instinctive shooting and of Kembo which was uh, Howard Hill's trip to Africa so I, I don't have nearly as many videos but I they're good ones hope you enjoyed watching this uh, if you want to see a lot of my archery equipment and uh, some of the bows I've made and arrows I've made and how I make them uh, just let me know thanks for watching